Welcome back to our weekly update. I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and I'm here to give you a quick look at our top stories for the week. Gold has taken a fairly big fall over the last week or so, dropping from around 1830 per ounce ahead of last Friday's jobs data to about 1750 at the time of this recording. The metal also spent time close to the 1700 level earlier this week. Last week's jobs data showed that the U.S. economy added 943,000 jobs in July, with the unemployment rate falling to 5.4 percent. The increase in jobs was the biggest since last August and came in ahead of the 870,000 expected by economists. The drop in gold has been labeled a flash crash in news headlines, with commentators suggesting that an improved economy will lead to tapering measures from the U.S. Federal Reserve. American inflation data released this week has curbed that line of thought somewhat, but with little reaction from gold. Of course, it's not all doom and gloom. I had the chance to speak this week with Chris Vermeulen of the TechnicalTraders.com, and while he thinks the next few months could be slow for the yellow metal, he's bullish overall. Chris explained that there's a chance gold could fall lower, but said the recent sell-off actually took it down to a strong support zone, meaning this could also be a very big bottom. As 2021 continues, he sees gold potentially getting back up to the 1900 level and possibly flirting with the 2000 price point. Once that happens, gold could break out, but Chris emphasized that it will take time to rebuild. Uh, but uh, it's going to probably take the rest of the year for gold to find support, start to build a little staircase uh, of price action moving back up this chart. There's a lot of repairing that needs to be done that it's going to work itself back up. And that takes months, as you can see down here, each of these vertical lines, you know, are, are a month, we got a month, a month. And so we're looking for several more months, four or five months, potentially for gold to work itself up. With the gold price in mind, we asked our Twitter followers this week if they think we've seen the bottom. The poll was ongoing at the time of this recording, but only a small percentage of respondents said they don't think the bottom is in. Most said it's too soon to tell, and many believe it's already happened. We'll be asking another question on Twitter next week, so make sure to follow us and share your thoughts. We're going to close this week with gaming, a sector INN doesn't get the chance to cover very often. Although many industries were hurt last year by COVID-19 lockdowns and complications, the gaming market saw a major boost in interest as people looked for ways to entertain themselves while stuck at home. With the world now opening up, can gaming continue its hot streak? Experts believe it's possible and results from major companies back up that idea. For example, well-known video game company Nintendo reported its most profitable fiscal year ever for the period ended March 31st. Meanwhile, Microsoft, known for its popular Xbox console, said in its latest quarterly results release that its gaming revenue was up 11% year on year. Aside from that, mobile gaming is seen as a huge area of opportunity. With access to 5G networks rising, players are increasingly able to have experiences on par with console and computer gaming while they're out and about. Time will tell as the global COVID-19 recovery progresses, but it seems like gaming's reach may be here to stay. That's all for this week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates and interviews. You can also follow us on social media or click below for our free report or any article mentioned in this video. See you next time.